You might say they have brought it all on themselves. The ongoing demise of the Tory party, culminating today with the news that they've plunged to a new low this year of 19% in the polls. It's the result of a series of self-harms inflicted since the days of the coalition. The party's betrayal of Conservative values began with David Cameron and will end with Rishi Sunak. How ironic that they will both be in the last Conservative government as it shuffles off into oblivion later this year. It could have all been so different, of course. If only they had listened to the people, the voters, those who put their faith in a Tory party that has so carelessly tossed them aside in favour of an agenda that has been neither Conservative nor Unionist. Consider the betrayal of Northern Ireland, now run by a party sworn to unite Ireland and start the inevitable destruction of the United Kingdom. Of course, it was Boris Johnson that allowed that particular betrayal of Britain after Brexit was botched under his reign. Consider David Cameron's ludicrous intervention in Libya in 2011. Ill-judged, dangerous and widely blamed for the beginning of the global migrant crisis that is now wrecking Western Europe. Consider the Ramona Tory MPs who betrayed the Brexit referendum and were still attempting to block our departure from the European Union as late as 2019. And consider the headlong rush to placate the eco-nutters that has resulted in the most costly and ridiculous rush towards the unattainable net-zero goal ordered by the globalists and the United Nations. All of the above manoeuvres have contributed to the death of the Conservative Party. George Osborne plunged another dagger into the party of business when he conspired to invent more red tape than anyone else had ever seen for small business in this country while he was Chancellor. And the fact that we are now taxed at a higher rate than at any time since the Second World War is an utter scandal for anyone who calls themselves a Conservative. The Reform Party is just four points behind the Tories now, and you wouldn't bet they won't overtake them before the election, which is widely expected to be held on October the 17th. The Labour Party are 25 points ahead and seemingly unstoppable, despite revealing hardly any policy on anything. In the words of Sean Connery, the Tory party is as dead as Julius Caesar. They can't stop the boats. The highest number of illegal migrants this year crossed the Channel only yesterday. Another 500-plus to add to the hundreds of thousands already here. They can't reduce NHS waiting times. They can't stimulate growth. All they can do is continue to expand the state, waste more of our money and betray the very people that put them in charge. So I say this, stick a fork in them, they're done.